the enchanted night garden. Once upon a time in a quaint village lived two siblings named Theo and Marie. They were known throughout the village for their curiosity and love for adventure. One moonlit night, as the village fell into slumber, Theo and Marie quietly crept out of their beds, drawn by a mysterious glow coming from the edge of the forest. Following the glow, they ventured deep into the woods, where the trees seemed to whisper secrets in the gentle breeze. As they walked further, the glow grew stronger, leading them to a hidden garden unlike any they had seen before. This was the secret night garden. The garden was bathed in the soft light of the moon, and it was alive with colors that shimmered and danced in the darkness. Enchanted flowers of all shapes and sizes bloomed, releasing sweet fragrances that filled the air. The siblings gazed in wonder as each step seemed to create ripples of magic across the ground. But that wasn't all. The night garden was also home to talking animals. A wise old owl perched on a branch, a mischievous squirrel darted about, and a gentle deer approached with curiosity. The animals greeted Theo and Marie as Abe and waiting for them. You found your way to the secret night garden, the owl hooted. You're the first humans to set foot here in many years. Theo and Marie shared stories with the animals, learning about the magic that only came alive under the moon's gentle gaze. They laughed, danced, and made new friends, feeling a sense of belonging they had never experienced before. As dawn approached, the animals reminded them that they had to leave before the first light of day. With heavy hearts, Theo and Marie bid their newfound friends farewell and promised to return the following night. The two siblings returned to their village, their heads filled with dreams of the enchanting garden. But when they woke up the next night, something was different. The moon was hidden behind thick clouds, and the glow that had led them to the garden was nowhere to be found. Theo and Marie felt a pang of disappointment, but they were determined. They waited and waited, and just as they were about to give up, a soft shimmer broke through the clouds, revealing a sliver of the moon's light. Let's go, Theo exclaimed, grabbing Marie's hand. They rushed back into the forest, their excitement growing with every step. But as they reached the clearing where the garden was supposed to be, they were met with a shocking sight. The garden had disappeared. Theo and Marie exchanged worried glances, wondering if they had imagined the whole thing. Just as they were about to turn back, the wind carried a faint whisper to their ears. It was the owl's voice. Come back tomorrow night, it said, its voice filled with hope. With renewed determination, Theo and Marie returned to their beds, their hearts set on visiting the secret night garden once more. And as they closed their eyes, they could almost hear the gentle rustling of leaves and the distant laughter of the talking animals, promising them more enchanting adventures in the nights to come. Theo and Marie eagerly awaited the next night, their hearts aflutter with anticipation. Throughout the day, they could hardly contain their excitement as they imagined all the magical wonders the secret night garden held. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the first stars began to twinkle, they knew it was time to set out once more. Under the cover of darkness, they ventured into the forest, guided by the same gentle glow that had led them before. The moon was radiant tonight, casting a silvery sheen over the world around them. They followed the familiar path, their steps quickening as the anticipation grew. When they finally reached the clearing, their faces fell. The secret night garden was still nowhere to be seen. 
Marie's shoulders slumped, disappointment heavy in her heart, but then a soft breeze ruffled their hair and a soft voice whispered in their ears. Patience, dear friends, the owl hooted from a nearby branch. The magic of this garden is as elusive as it is enchanting. Theo and Marie exchanged a determined look. They understood that the garden was testing their dedication and patience. They decided to stay in the clearing, gazing up at the moon and stars, allowing their hearts to connect with the beauty of the night. Hours seemed to pass, and just when their eyelids began to droop with weariness, a faint glimmer caught their attention. The garden began to materialize before them, as if emerging from the shadows. Enchanted flowers unfurled their petals, and the soft laughter of the talking animals echoed through the air. Welcome back, the squirrel chirped. Theo and Marie's faces lit up with joy as they stepped into the magical world once again. The flowers emitted a gentle, soothing glow, and the fragrance that filled the air was sweeter than anything they had ever known. Dancing alongside the animals, they felt a sense of belonging that was both comforting and exhilarating. As the night wore on, the owl perched on a branch and shared tales of the garden's origins, woven with threads of moonlight and dreams. The siblings hung on to every word, cherishing this newfound knowledge and connection to the enchanted world. As dawn approached, a thought tugged at Theo and Marie's hearts. What if the garden vanished again? With reluctant smiles, they bid their magical friends goodbye, promising to return as the moon rose once more. Back in their beds, the siblings dreamt of the secret night garden, its mysteries and wonders coloring their dreams. The next evening, as they ventured into the forest, they discovered something astonishing. The glow was there even before the sun fully set. The garden is eager to see you, the owl hooted happily. Theo and Marie stepped into the garden, their joy now twined with a deep sense of belonging. With each visit, the garden seemed to respond to their friendship, blooming even more brilliantly and sharing its secrets more freely. But as the night progressed, the enchanting world around them began to shimmer and fade. A sense of urgency filled the air. Theo Marie, the deer, said, its eyes serious. The secret night garden is in danger. We need your help to save it. And with those words, a new adventure was set in motion, promising to test their courage and friendship in ways they had never imagined. As the moon hung in the sky, Theo and Marie listened intently ready to embark on a journey that would take them deeper into the heart of the night's magic. And so, dear reader, with the fate of the secret night garden hanging in the balance, Theo and Marie faced a new challenge that would lead them to uncover even greater wonders and mysteries. What awaited them in the heart of this magical realm? Well, that is a story for another night.